Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Thursday the 22nd and I am gonna be busy today. I want to get 50% into Good Girl Bad Blood and then I also wanna get 25% into What My Bones Know. New? No. Present tense. What My Bones Know, which Ozzy did get me, so I'm very excited about that. I got paid yesterday, so I went ahead and ordered groceries. That's not important to y'all, but it's important to me because I was running out of food. Um, ordered groceries, paid some bills, moved stuff around, as you do. Um, I did end up, so last week I was possibly going to start the vile thing we created. Um, yeah, I started it and I finished it in one day, which is incredibly unusual for me. It used to be very usual for me, but um, now it's pretty unusual for me and I, I definitely... I definitely did that so yep <laughs> so that means that 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 part of the reading is is done I don't have to think about it I think that I don't have a whole lot of like I'm trying to balance like reading with my eyes and reading with my um, ears I know that sounds confusing but trust trust me I know what I'm talking about I so I, I think that I um, need to add another like book to read with my ears or with my eyes I mean um because I'm going to be doing the Holly Jackson books pretty much throughout the rest of the week um but we'll see I did I guess I put on hold ages and ages ago and I have no memory of this but I guess I put um I have no mouth and I must scream on my uh sorry on my audible hold and I like have zero memory of doing that but I must have, so here we are. <laughs> so I'm sending that to my Kindle now. I don't know if I'll read that next or if I'll read Data Baby next. Data Baby is um, essentially, <sighs> what is, how do I explain what Data Baby is? Girl was like raised in a, as a science experiment essentially. So that's fun. I love that for her. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck around with this. Um, I gotta go pick up my meds because they are not on hold this month, thank fuck. So I'm gonna go pick up my meds and then I'm going to maybe get quarters. I might skip that and do that tomorrow though because I don't really feel like doing it. Oh wait, no, my visits are at 2 again so I can do it for Saturday. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go. I just thought I would do a quick update um, to open up the vlog. I've got work things I need to do so I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you're having a great day. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, and I am expecting packages from Amazon today, and so I got a delivery notification, and I was like, cool, it's from Amazon. Um, but my phone didn't tell me. Like, I got a ring notification, but not a delivery notification, so I was like, whatever. Sometimes it's delayed. Um, but no, it's gifts from Hope. Um, Hope is someone who has watched my videos for a little while. I, I, I don't, hold on, the sun, got it. Okay, let's try this. Um, for a little while now, and, uh, We've interacted in comments a little bit and hope I don't know your pronouns. They got me, they got me gifts. I don't know what it is yet. Um, I just opened it and I saw the gift wrapping and I was like, who got me? Because it's not like, it's not like, sometimes I get stuff um, off my Amazon which was for like Christmas or my birthday, like those kinds of things. And none of that is happening right now. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so let's see, let's open it together. Um, also, thank you, Hope. Um, 
yeah, it was super nice. I'm really bad at reacting to gifts, I think. Also, I've been reading a book about trauma all day though, and so my brain is also just like in this hypersensitive mode. Um, so if I cry, that's why. <laughs> um, thank you. Let's see what we got. Um, oh, hey! This is really funny. So my TBR, I just edited it today. Um, so it hasn't even gone up yet. So hope you don't know this, but I'm gonna be reading this book uh, next month in March. So this is perfect. I don't even have to like check it out at the library or anything. Uh, so this is Book Shops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. So I'm very excited about this um, and perfect timing because I will be reading it next month. And then, what is this? Oh, hell yeah, I was just talking about these books literally today with Ollie and Art. Um, this is the last book, I think, in the Up and Under series by A. a. Deborah Baker, AKA Sean McGuire. So this is Under the Smoke Strewn Sky. Um, and it's, it's the only one I don't own, um, which is super exciting because I'm going to be doing a reread of all of it uh, when the, the last book of the Alchemical Journeys comes out. So equally exciting. I also think that might align with Clear Your Shit at some point. So here's hoping that it does. But thank you so much, Hope. This is such a nice little way for me to be ending my day because like my work day just kind of ended and I've just been like kind of reading on my back porch eating dinner. So this is a nice little little cherry on top to the rest of the day. Um, thank you again. <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay, bye. Hello, happy Friday. It is Friday the 23rd. I am so fucking ready for this week to be done. Um, I did end up finishing this yesterday. It made me sob. Um, I was, I was crying a good bit. Um, so that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I need to put it in my field notes. I also am like kind of tempted to, once I'm out of my field notes, let's, let's, let's talk about my field notes. Once I'm, I'm out of field notes, I think I want to try using index cards. Here's the thing. I can carry around, like, ugh, how do I explain this? I want to do both. Like, I like using my field notes as a little crow journal. So, like, I carry it around. I write stuff down in it. But then I want to take that information or quotes and stuff that I find and put them in on little index cards. My index cards would fit in my archival box. I can still tag them with the things I have. I can sort them by book. I could sort them by theme, depending on the quote, right? Um, and I don't know. That is appealing to me. Um, and then, like, if I'm I'm looking for a theme specifically, I can, like, and find it, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I wasn't supposed to finish What My Bones Know. Um, I wasn't even supposed to finish Good Girl, uh, Bad Blood. Um, finished both of those things yesterday. My bad. Um, so now I'm just, like, gonna be ahead again. Great. Uh, so I'm starting... As Good as Dead by Holly Jackson for my buddy read. I also am going to, I think, I have, words, I have um, a nonfiction book that I've just like had kind of sitting uh, called Data Baby. I think I might uh, switch into reading that as I'm reading uh, As Good as Dead because I like to have something that I'm reading with my eyes at the same time. So um, I may do that. Also, next week is book club, and I don't know, like, they're like, what do you, what are you recommending? Like, we need to bring a book that we recommend. I don't recommend anything. Hope this helps. Like, <laughs> that sounds terrible, but I'm just like, you know, you know, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna bounce. I've got stuff I need to do. Um, tickets I need to work on for work. I also am going to refilm my Women's Wrongs video today, I think. Um, maybe. I'm not feeling super confident in the way that I look. So there's that. But um, I realized I have like a month that I can film this, film it, so it's not as important. Um, I do need to film my wrap-up at some point, but when is that going to happen? I don't know. Oh, I wanted to check too. First off, is my phone connected to Wi-Fi? Yes. Did this upload both my videos all three of my videos uploaded cool because youtube uploads are just like um anyway i'm gonna go i hope you guys are having a good day i'll talk to you later sorry for rambling
we'd be having thoughts. All right, I'm gonna go. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello, good morning. It is Monday the 26th. It's the last Monday of the week. What's crazy is this vlog is going to end on the last day of the month. That's crazy. And by crazy, I mean like, all right, bestie, fuck. <laughs> and by crazy, I mean like neat. I think it's neat. So gonna take the heart med, gonna take the ADHD med. Okay, cool. Um, so what was they saying? Right. Hi. Hello. It's Monday. I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm actually going to be leaving my house soon. I am starting Good Girls Don't Die today, which is a um, horror book by Christina Henry. Very excited about that. Um, I did end up finishing As Good As Dead in one day. My bad. Total accident. Didn't mean to do that. Five stars. I am hopefully going to be finishing Data Baby, which is the nonfiction. I'm currently reading um and then maybe I have no mouth but I must scream by Harlan Ellison question mark um I got that because of a YouTube video a YouTube cartoon literally um I am two or three stories into that I'm like 50% in I think and I'm also about 50% into Data Baby so hopefully I'll finish at least one of those books today and uh, Data Baby specifically because it's due back at the library in three days. Um, I might go see Bella today, fingers crossed. Um, and I also, if I don't go see Bella today, then I might run to the library and go get those Ellen Hopkins books that I want. So stay tuned. I actually don't even know if the library has those. I'm logging into my work computer because I have shit I need to do, unfortunately. It's not even that I have, I have shit I need to do. Well, I mean it is, but... Um, <clears throat> I need to check something before I go and possibly set something up before I go. If not, then I will get it done tonight, which does mean that I don't have to take the full PTO, but it's annoying. Um, working salary is a little bit frustrating sometimes because it's a scam. No, um, because it basically means that like I can log in on a day that I'm supposed to have PTO and do some work um, or log in after work to finish setting up an account or whatever it is um so I don't know it has its pros and cons right like I can do these things that need to get done and not worry so much about it all being left for me to do the next day that I'm here um but it's also just like frustrating because I would like to just like take the day off and it be the day off and me not be capable of even logging in and doing these things. And yes, that means that I could have those boundaries, those more effective boundaries. And so it's like kind of on me. Um, but also, I don't know. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> um, I'm going to check about the Ellen Hopkins books. Annoying. I have to go set a new master password, even though the master password I have set is selected for a reason because it's the one I can fucking remember. So I'm going to go do that. And hopefully I can get this taken care of so I don't have to do it when I get home. But we'll see. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh my god, y'all. My doctor's appointment yesterday was bananas bad. Like, it was so fucking outrageous. I, <laughs> um, I like had to sit in my car for like 30 minutes to decompress before I started driving because it wouldn't have been safe for me to be driving with how pissed off I was. So that's how you know I was really bad. It was really bad. Um, so basically what had happened was, uh, first off, so it was a doctor I've never seen before. 
um, is still my primary care physician. But at my doctor's office, I have several doctors and several um, PRNs who are able to still do the prescription refill appointment. And it's not that big of a deal. I've, sorry, my computer's like coming up. I've like <clears throat> seen different PRNs. I've seen different doctors or whatever. I don't ever really have a problem with any of those doctors. It's never a big deal. It's always fine. So also, good morning. It's the 27th. It's Tuesday. So I am waiting like they they I go back at 10 15 which is my appointment time um and you know they take my vitals whatever go in their merry little way and um from then forward I think I waited almost an hour and a half for the doctor to come like at, at an hour I finished a book and then I almost finished another book and so I at an hour was like uh hello like I peeked out I was like hi like I don't know what's going on but it's been about an hour um and I have to get home like it's a good thing I took the whole day off because if I hadn't taken the whole day off I would have been fucked cool I personally love having my time wasted it's one of my favorite things it is not my most massive pet peeve of all time it is not the thing that will be most likely to make me rage and rant or anything I love having my time wasted. It is my favorite thing. I finally see the doctor again. It's a doctor I've never seen before. And he starts off with 10 milligram Adderall twice a day, huh? Yeah. How long have you been on that? Four years. Okay. Well, have you, um, you know, thought about halving it? No, that doesn't work for me. What do you mean that doesn't work for you? I can't focus at work. Well, what does that mean? I have auditory processing issues. Like I get anxious and stressed out and I can't focus. I can't do executive function tasks. Okay. Well, are you eating three meals a day? Yes. Well, cause you can't focus if you don't eat. Okay. I am eating three meals a day. Speaking of, I just remember my breakfast is currently in the kitchen. So you guys have to come with me so I can finish making my breakfast that I forgot about because I'm taking my meds. Um, and he's like, well, are you getting enough sleep? Because girls like you, like me, girls like you are often up late partying. Like me, <laughs> sir, I went to bed at 930 the night before, you know, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Girls like me. And I was like, yes, I get enough sleep. And he's like, how much is enough sleep? And I was like, eight to nine hours. Bitch, the fuck? Super strange line of questioning. So then he's like, well, you're on metropanol for the hour. I get it because your heart rate's so high. It was 92. And if you've been watching my channel for a hot minute, you know that that's low for me. And, you know, you guys watch my channel. My doctors should be reading my chart. It's crazy how that works, right? Um, they have a medical chart they should follow. You guys just watch my channel to get the tea. Um, so I was like, no. I take it because my heart rate's high, but that has nothing to do with the Adderall. And he's like, no, it's because of the Adderall. I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I didn't want to deal with it. I just wanted my med refill to go and then go. I was already annoyed. I didn't want to deal with this guy. So then he's like, I'm not comfortable refilling Adderall. Do you see a psychiatrist? And I was like, my insurance doesn't cover a psychiatrist and I cannot afford to go to one without insurance coverage. And he said, well, I'll refill it this time, but I'm not comfortable filling it again. It is literally a refill appointment for the medication that I've had for four years. My life-saving medication, and you just want to change it on the drop of a hat. You've literally never seen me before. You don't know me. You just want to change it on the drop of a hat. You want to, you want to either get rid of it or lower it by half. He kept insisting my, um, it was a high dosage too. The fuck? No, it is not. No, it's not. Um, 10 milligrams twice a day instant release is not a high dosage. It is one up from the lowest dosage they could put me on. So I went from 7.5s twice a day to 10s twice a day. That's not a high dosage. And I know that for a fucking fact. So I'm annoyed. And then he's like, I also want to increase your metropropanol. I don't know if you guys know this, but that's my heart meds. They're, they're blood pressure meds. It is a blood pressure medication. The problem with my blood pressure medication is that I don't have high blood pressure. 
I have low blood pressure, low normal blood pressure. However, they don't make anything else to lower my heart rate. So the only option I have is to take a 25 milligram one of these and cut it in half. That's how I have to take my heart meds because my blood pressure is already low. So if I took a low, a higher dosage, I would die. I would die. And that's in my chart. It's in my chart that I have uh, inappropriate sinus tachycardia. All of that's in my chart, um, which by the way, that's a really rare thing to get diagnosed with. That's why I made sure it was in my fucking chart because it's a rare thing to get diagnosed with. So when people ask me stupid questions like why you're on Adderall but also taking this heart medication, they can just look at my chart and go, oh, it's because your heart's just fucking weird. But no, this guy wouldn't look at my chart. And I kept telling him, I was like, you can't, please don't change my heart meds. Please look at my chart. Like, I don't understand why we're trying to change my treatment when it's been my, my treatment plan that I've had for a couple of years now, like the whole thing, a couple of years, but like the Adderall for four years. I was like, please don't. And he um, kept insisting, kept insisting. And then finally he was like, fine, I'll look at your chart. And he looked at my chart. He's like, oh, well, your weight has fluctuated a lot too. Once he looked at my chart and realized how fucking wrong he was and how he was literally about to murder me through medical malpractice and also make me incapable of functioning as an adult human being by taking away my Adderall, then he finally see, looks at my chart, realizes how fucking wrong he is, and his reaction to that is to tell me I've gotten fat, essentially. So he says that my, um, my weight has fluctuated a lot. He's like, what is that? What do you mean? No, it hasn't. And I know it hasn't. I know for a fucking fact it hasn't. He's like, well, this time last year, trigger warning for numbers. Well, I won't even. He, he said, this time last year you were blank, blank, two pounds. And now you're blank, blank, eight pounds over that. I'm sorry, six pounds in a year is not. I used to fluctuate or eight pounds in a, in a year is not, I used, my weight used to fluctuate eight pounds a week. What do you mean it's fluctuated a lot? What does that fucking mean, buddy? What the fuck? <laughs> so you make me wait an hour and a half. I know why you're behind on all of your fucking patients is because you're arguing with them about the treatment plan that they've been on for years. You're not taking me seriously. You're refusing to look at my chart. You're willing to literally murder me. And then when you realize that you're wrong, you're like, oh, well, you're fat. <laughs> Buddy, what the fuck? What the fuck? It was so mind boggling. Anyway, it was, it was crazy. I finished Data Baby yesterday, also while I was fucking waiting for him. And then I almost finished I Have No Mouth um, but I'm a scream. Um, I did end up finishing that last night though, in general, but, um, so I'm going to be starting another book that I can't think of the name of. I might go to the library today after work, um, depending on how today goes. It looks like I'm going to be pretty busy today, unfortunately, which doesn't appeal to me, but here we are. So yeah, that was my doctor's appointment. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. I need to film my wrap up for February, just because we're almost at the end of February, we've got two, two days left, um, and I want to I wanna film that. Um, I think that's going to be it for filming for like the next little bit, other than TBRs and, um, and uh, wrap-ups, so that's cool. I love when I'm ahead. I'm also thinking about doing a, it's been a year since everything changed, it's been over a year now since my husband left. But I did a six month update and I'm thinking about doing a year update, but I don't really know, like not a lot has changed. The biggest stuff is that like, I've changed my perspective on a lot of things. Um, but I don't know if I'll do, I'll make that video. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna go. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Okay, thanks, bye. Don't touch my camera. I wish you guys could see what's happening right now. Anyway.
No, I'm filming you. Now, now you're on candy camera. Oh, I forgot to stop this. Are you done? Can I play now? No. Right. I'm watching you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is February the 28th. It is Wednesday. I had a bad day yesterday, but that's okay. Maybe today will be better. Like, I, it was bad enough that I, like, needed to write down my gratitude at the end of the day. Because I needed to remind myself that there are things that I do love and enjoy and whatnot. But, I got through the day. I did finish, um, that one book that I talked about wanting to finish. I have no mouth... And I'm a scream. Um, I'm 60% into Good Girls Don't Die. The Good Girls Don't Die book is just like... <laughs> like, it's it's okay. It's not that good, but it's okay. You know, which is really disappointing because I really, really like this author. So I'm just like kind of bummed about that, but that's okay. We will get through. It's somehow going to be getting colder throughout the day. Allegedly, we'll see. Um, I'm going to check that now, actually, because I don't know if I still, like, don't know if I believe that. Oh, it's still supposed to get colder throughout the day. I'm not super sure why, because it's not, like, raining. It's not, I don't know. But we're going from an 80-degree day yesterday to a 50-degree day today. I love it here. It's great. Um, good times, good times, good times. Um, yeah. Yesterday was bad because I was just, like, overstimulated. <laughs> um... I came back from lunch to like 12 emails and like 15 Teams messages and so I started going through the Teams messages and immediately was kind of bombarded with replies immediately like everybody was on there I guess waiting for me to reply and um, that's a lot of pressure. Um, I also, I don't know how to talk about this, <laughs> um, I also struggle a little bit because um, a lot of the things in my job presents itself as an emergency. 
but when everything is presenting itself as an emergency, it makes it very hard for me to treat everything as an emergency um, because it's not like it, it's not an emergency if if you're if I don't know how to explain that. Like if if everything is an emergency, it can't all be an emergency. And so then I have to like kind of mentally decide what I think is actually the emergency versus what's not the emergency. I don't know if that makes sense. Why am I out of breath? I know why. I did mobility this morning and um, that was good and all, but I think it's super humid out. I don't know, I haven't been outside. My heart rate is really high because I uh, it's humid out. So <laughs> that's cool. I think that's it. I, I don't really have a whole lot else to talk about today. Um, I was doing really good with doing all of my habits and stuff, and then I stopped. And I'm working on doing it again. It's my skincare that I'm really not doing lately. I've been having a hard time doing. Um, so I need to figure out a system there that works. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what system needs to work. Maybe I need to put my skincare stuff in the guest bathroom because that is the bathroom I use while I'm working um, because it's closer than my bathroom. Maybe if I put my skincare stuff in there and I wash my face, like, on my lunch or, like, before I go do so. So the problem is, like, I can't wash it before I go on my walk. Like, I brush my teeth before I go on my walk because I need some walk. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, today the plan is to finish Good Girls Don't Die. And then... Um, that's that's it is to finish good girls don't die i might start um the black period or half off ragnarok which ragnarok 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 i don't know which i don't know which one i'm gonna start i have both of them i own both of them um I, again i might start one of them um which would put me ahead for my reading and i don't know if i want to be super far ahead for my reading um, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are having a good day. Fuck, I'm out of breath. I do not feel great. Oh, this is gonna be a fun time. All right, I'm gonna go. Okay, thanks, bye. Good morning. Hold on. There we go. Good morning. It's uh, a day of the week. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, it's Thursday. Oh shit, I gotta close the vlog out. Hi, it's Thursday the 29th. I'm not gonna go into too much about how I'm feeling today. Uh, I'll do that in next week's vlog. But uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, this vlog. Um, I'm closing it out here. I did finish the reading I wanted to do. Well, I wanted to get 25% of the black period. I wanted to start that for next month, uh, which starts tomorrow. So this is the end of the week and the end of the month. End of this week's vlog, end of the month. Wow! Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to go, though. I hope that you guys are having a great day. I will talk to you later, next week specifically. Um, yeah. I'm gonna just uh, finish this. Okay, thanks, bye.